I work at um, University College Hospitals London. Uh, my job there is the chief nurse for the organisation. I work as part of an executive team. My job is to make sure that patient care is delivered safely and to the right standard. The job of somebody at my level and my colleagues is to be constantly vigilant around safety. I think anybody who thinks their organisation is safe is probably um, not telling the truth. Health is a very complex process, so we have to be able to triangulate, we have to look at, we have to have measures, and we have to look at those measures over time. And I think we also have to get out there ourselves. Um, I do night shifts, I do weekends. Um, myself and the chairman will go in and talk to staff and just ask the question, what are you worrying about today? What's the biggest thing on your agenda? Do you think your ward is safe? I think I also need to be available in and out of hours so people can see that senior leadership, not just me but my team, cares about them out of hours and, and what they do out of hours is important to them because we very much have gone down the road of um, Monday to Friday. We now need to get ourselves into the whole concept and culture of seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Not only do junior clinicians need to be around, but senior clinicians need to be around too. And I think that's my job to promote that. My organisation's got nine clinicians on the board. So we ask questions in a different way than if you're a non-clinician. And there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's power in numbers of people who understand the business. So that's really important for our organisation, that's really changed the culture. One small specific example that I can talk about is we've implemented something called the Care Thermometer, which is um, a tool that measures nursing practice, things that nurses and midwives can directly impact upon. The key purpose of the Care Thermometer is to enable ward staff, clinical staff, to understand and know how they're doing. They didn't know on a a constructive basis how they were doing previously. Now they can they can they feel more empowered to make improvements and make changes. Um, and if if a ward is doing better than an, an, another ward, they know where to go and share how to go and share best practice, and they know where to go and learn from. It also gives us the opportunity to see when a ward might be starting to get into trouble, and we can put resource in to help them. Um, and it's also to hold the ward sister to account. There's so many things that need to change. Um, I think there's a huge problem in capability and understanding um, service improvement science and service improvement techniques. So I think until we see that as important as learning how to take stitches out, then we're not going to get the big change that we need because safer organisations don't usually spend as much money. Um, the, res the, the, the NHS resource is finite. I think the, the measuring um, and monitoring framework that's been published by the Health Foundation is really, really useful. It's a diagnostic tool as well as an improvement tool, so it's helped us look at where we already were and it's helped us think, okay, so where do we need to go to get better? So it gives, it pulls all the elements of safety together, both measuring and soft data, but it also challenges you on uh, where you can improve and where you, could, you, you may be doing, not doing things that would actually improve. So it's been really, it's a very useful tool. If, I think you need to be flexible with it. I don't think it's, um, it's not a rigid framework, uh, but it is something that, that can help provide support and resource to an organisation, both who's successful and one that is maybe struggling.